Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So work out this area. Work out this area from 0 to 1. From 0 to 1. And bear in mind that you can't really natural log 0. Because if you if you try natural log 0, well, well, the, the, as you approach 0, you, you, you're going to head towards negative infinity. You can't really natural log 0. Bear that in mind. Or somehow work out this area from 0 to 1. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, but before we do it, let's let's just have a quick reminder. When you uh, when you integrate this, when you uh, when you integrate natural log of x, uh, it will give you this. We've done this before in the past. You you've got to use integration by parts. So uh, so just remember, if you integrate natural log of x, it gives you this. We've done this in the past. So let's start again. We are trying to um, to evaluate this from zero to uh, to one. But let's let's do it. From, from an arbitrary point, let's say b, so let's integrate it from b to 1, from b to 1, and then later on we can take the limit as b heads towards 0 from, from the right hand side. Okay, so, so the first step is to integrate it from, one, uh, from an arbitrary point b to 1. So the first step is to, um, to integrate it from, from b to 1. Now when you integrate this, it will then give you this thing here, and now you've got to put this into here, put this into here, put this into here. That will then give you this. Hang on. That will then give you well. Put this into here. That will then give you the one. Put this into here. That will then give you this. Put this into here. That will then give you this. And then you've got to take away. Put this into here. That's the b here. Put this into here. That's a b here. And then you've You've got a earlier. You, you've got a minus and a minus here. That will give you this plus here. Put this into here. That will be your b here. Natural log of one. So if you look at your natural log graph, this is one. Natural log of one is zero here. So uh, so this thing would disappear. Um, so so let's let's put this in front here, and then let's rearrange this. This bit becomes this. So so uh, so that will then take us to this. So when you integrate it from from b to one, it will give you this thing here. Now allow b to head towards zero from the right hand side. So the minute the minute you allow b to head towards zero from the right hand side, this thing here, rather than integrating from b to zero, we the minute you allow b to head towards zero, you can actually say you are integrating from from zero to uh, to one. You can actually say you're integrating. From 0 to 1 but then you've got to take the limit of, of this thing here as B tends to 0 from the right hand side so hang on let's go back one step so um, uh, if you integrate from uh, from B to 1 that will then give you this here but now now allow B to head towards 0 so uh, so this thing here will become will become this and then and then this thing here, take the limit as b tends to zero from the right hand side. This thing here will then become this. So basically, take the allow b to head towards zero. This thing here will become this. Okay. So now, uh, now, uh, now, if you if you have a quick glance at this, as b tends towards zero from the right hand side, this thing here is going to be zero, and then. Uh, and then you've got negative one take away this. We need, we now need to evaluate this. What happens? So, so here you've got one block multiplying another block. What happens as, um, as b tends to zero from the right hand side? Because if you look at this here, um, as b, if you look at this here, y equals x looks like this. As b heads towards zero, this thing here is heading towards zero. But then this thing here, if you look at the graph, well, natural log of, um, of x as b tends to zero as b tends to zero you see you're heading towards negative infinity so here you've got zero versus uh, negative infinity so here uh, so here you've got a pr product uh, an indeterminate product so whenever that happens you can rewrite this so so basically now we are just considering this bit here let's let's leave this for the time being let's just try and understand this bit here so let's just uh, consider this bit here. Let's just consider this. Let's just consider this. So here you've got one thing multiplying another thing. So so we've already established that this thing is heading to, towards zero. This thing here is heading towards negative infinity. 
So this is a, a an indeterminate product. So whenever you have a, an indeterminate product, you can rewrite it as a quotient. So um, so rewrite this as uh, as this, and then this here rewrite it. As, well, rewrite this thing here as a quotient. So now now let's uh, let's check it. This thing here is going to as b tends to zero, as b tends to zero, this thing here will be uh, will be will be infinity negative infinity uh, as and then as b tends towards zero from the right hand side this thing here is going to hang on one over x looks like this and then this thing here is going to head this thing here is going to head all the way up here towards in, uh, positive infinity so here you've got another uh, infinity over infinity then you can apply L'Hopital's rule so applying L'Hopital's rule differentiate it that will then give you this, differentiate this, that will then give you this. So now it's just a matter of tidying this up. So tidy this up, let's imagine this as this thing divided by, divided by this thing here. So now you, you times the reciprocal of this. So, so times it, tidy this thing up, it becomes this. Now as B heads towards zero, then, then this thing here is going to head towards zero. So the limit of um, the, well the limit of this thing as b head towards zero from the right hand side it, it actually becomes zero. So going back going back to here going back to here as b heads towards zero from the right hand side this thing here is going to be zero this thing here is going to be zero you're left with minus one. So the final answer is minus one. So the area here this whole area here this whole area here is negative one. The final answer is negative one. This is your final answer. This area here is negative one.